Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoy the preview. Let's review the control diagram to see how a typical start-stop function is accomplished. The diagram shows separate control, but the control voltage can come from two lines at a power voltage or from a control power transformer as seen in our previous slide. When the start button is depressed, as shown in this diagram, it completes the circuit to energize the coil. When that occurs, the normally open auxiliary contact M closes. When you remove your finger from the start button, its contact returns to the normal open state. Even though this opens a path to the coil, the circuit now travels through the closed M contact to keep the starter energized. The electricity flows from L1 through the stop normally closed, through the path completed when the M contact is closed, to the coil through the overload relay control circuit, then to L2 as shown in the diagram. Pressing the stop button as shown in this figure will cause a normally closed contact to open the circuit, de-energize the coil, and drop out contact M. Releasing the stop button will return the circuit to its normal off state. If there is a power outage or power loss, the coil is de-energized, contact M opens, and the starter drops the load off the line. When the power is restored, the circuit cannot automatically restart because the start button needs to be pushed to complete the circuit. Because someone must manually start this circuit, this can provide a means of personnel safety. Now how is the operation of a contactor accomplished? First, the motor is started usually by the operator pressing a start button. Then current runs through the coil, creating the magnetic force to the E-frame. The E-frame pulls down the armature through the magnetic attraction, the contacts close, and the current flows to the motor. Now stopping the motor is usually accomplished by the operator pressing a stop button. The E-frame loses its magnetic force, and the spring pushes the contacts apart rapidly, and the motor stops. Hi. We hope you enjoyed a sample video of our online e-learning module. This clip is from one of our many available modules. We are always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Low voltage motor control, molded case circuit breakers, insulated case circuit breakers, low voltage power breakers, medium voltage switchgear, medium voltage control, motor control centers, transformers, contactors, operators devices, protective relays, and lastly variable frequency drives. Outlines, pricing, previews, and requests for information are available at tsnc.com slash e-learning. Let our training to go programs train your people while you run your business.